Welcome to the PI Guy. Tips, tricks, and advice for professional private investigators just like you. Welcome back to the channel, folks. I am going to do some regular OSINT, Open Source Intelligence, investigation short tutorials over a period of time to show you some of the free OSINT tools that I use. Now, in all honesty, I have literally hundreds of online tools at my disposal and I couldn't possibly cover every one of them in a video. As well, many of my tools I have at my disposal, I have written the code myself. So it is a bit of a proprietary software that I am not willing to release, but I'm happy to share the ones that I can with you for these tutorials. Now, before I get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Eric Hutchinson, one of my PI Guy Premium supporters. Eric, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And folks, if you would like to support the channel, you can click on the Join button down below to get more information on membership levels, or you can click on the Thanks icon and send a super thanks. In this week's short OSINT tutorial, I am covering how you can take an email address and potentially find the name of the person who owns that email and get their address too. First, a quick disclaimer. This is using all free and open source data records. You don't have to have access to one of those super secret PI database systems out there to do this. Although those super secret paid PI databases oftentimes will come up with more information and more accurate and timely data as well. We will use a website called Melissa Lookups today for this quick tutorial. Now with Melissa Lookups, you do need to have an account. You can sign up for a free account and they give you something like a thousand credits a month to use. Before we go further folks, this is for demonstration purposes only. Please use tools like this responsibly or these tools may soon disappear from the internet. Another quick word of caution, if you are using a VPN, I have seen some of these tools not work properly while on a VPN. I am usually behind a firewall and on a VPN and I often have to turn off the VPN because the site believes it could be a malicious IP address. I also usually use a dedicated computer system to do this type of work too, not my regular work computer. My preferred OSINT system on my desk is a Raspberry Pi 400 like this one. It runs a special version of Linux. If you want to check it out, I will leave an affiliate link down below for it. Now you can use any system you want, an old laptop, an old PC, even an old phone or a tablet if you want. I just always recommend doing online research and OSINT investigations on a dedicated system, not your regular work computer or a laptop. Okay, here we are on Melissa Lookup and here is a link for doing email checks. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.melissa.com forward slash v2 forward slash lookups forward slash email check forward slash. As you can see, the site is very clean and easy to use. There is a single text box right here that you use to enter your email address and then you click on the submit button to get your results. Now I have used this tool for a long time and I'll say it is really hit and miss, but when it's a hit, man, it can be a case changer for you. For demonstration purposes, I am using a random email address. This email address is samim at yahoo.com. I have no idea who this person is. I just pulled the name out of my, well, my, my imagination. There you go. I popped it in and voila, it comes up with the following data. As you can see, it indicates the email is potentially tied to the following individuals and it even provides potential addresses and ages of the individuals. So is the information accurate? I have no idea. It would have to be independently verified to be sure. I will say this though, I have tested this with many emails of people I know and folks, I have seen about a 30% accuracy rating over time. Now, if you would like to know if online facial recognition software works, then check out this video. 